Just look at the raw beauty. 35 fountains, 24 waterfalls, 72 holes of this splendid golf course where today, our network schedule allowing, a winner will be chosen in the first annual Castle Park Invitational. Hello there, everyone. I'm Kerry Millerick here at the treacherous double waterfall grotto. I'm here with my colleague, Bob Goen. Bob, it's a hot day for golf, isn't it? It truly is. It's going to really take its toll on the golfers, but I think it's also a testament to the grounds crew here. They have just done a phenomenal job in keeping this course in shape despite the tough weather conditions. I mean, the grotto hole behind us is a real testament to the job they've done. You see the water flowing completely freely. It no is. No impediments there. And also, I think that's an indicator of the maturation that this the game has taken place. The sport has really last. grown up. Well, enough chit-chat. Let's go to the action. You know, Kerry, the concentration on the faces of these players is truly amazing. Well, Bob, they have a lot to think about, like the 10th hole here where 13-year-old Michelle Robertson is taking on the infamous ramp of death. Now let's go back to hole seven and let's take a look at the layout. You're up a small hill here, right smack into a dog leg left, and then a long straightaway into another dog leg, and then down into a circle of these treacherous white things. Well, let's see how veteran Dave Adkins does on this one. Oh, boy. Off the course. And, and Kerry, there is, that is one reason right there why there is a big push on now for the tour to set a mandatory retirement age. Let's head to the 11th hole. You know, Bob, this is a deceptively complex hole. Oh, yes. It's yeah. really more difficult than it appears. Well, it's not unlike the shot that Greg Norman had to contend with. Oh, a fine tee shot. Yeah, you see that? You remember Norman back in the late 50s? Uh oh. Yeah. Well, this is the problem that he had to deal with when he was playing Lilliputs golf and stuff in his native Australia. Oh, back I remember in the 50s. that. That was a tough course. He had trouble with his tee shot as well, and here you go. You know, Bob, you do see some unconventional playing styles in this tournament. Here's a caddy supplying some extra punch. Five-year-old Robert Novell likes to add a little wind power to his shot. And former hockey player Cheryl Prohaska may get called for icing on this shot. Now over here on the 13th, if the freeway water hazard doesn't get you, the white water will. And I don't know if I'd want to fight those waterfowl for the ball. How about you, Bob? Oh, no way, Kerry. But let's pick up the action at 15. Now, three-year-old Mark Ames really has a tough putt ahead of him, doesn't he? I mean, oh, he's sure. really off. Yeah, but he knows this layout, Gary. He's played here before, and he doesn't let the pressure get to him. The galleries have been so well behaved. The only pressure that he's got is the pressure he puts on himself. Let's see what he does. Bear watching. So he likes to take his time. Oh, oh. yes! Oh. Yeah. Let's see, he's done it before. He knows the pressure's involved. He well is a done. pro. That makes Mark our leader here, Bob. But they say we're running out of time. We'll leave you with number two contender, Scotty Simon. Quite a look for summer, don't you think, Bob? Oh, he's always on top of fashion, Carrie. But now I understand we have to join Heidi in progress. Bob, I'm surprised that you weren't playing in this. How long have you been off the tour? Oh, you know, they got those young kids coming up now. And, uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, a cagey old veteran like myself, we just have to kind of step aside for the youngsters. He has to, you really, you should confess, it was the windmill hole that got to him a few years ago. Just what, drove him right out of the hole. And the anthill. Oh, well, man. I just love it to see grown men make fools of themselves. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, we love it, too. And, and, and a great way to do it is miniature golf. Have you been lately? I've never been. Oh, well, you must go. A lot of people, you just forget about how much fun miniature golf is. And it's a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. You should anybody, check it out. Anybody can do it. Have some fun at miniature golf. We're going to return with Jack Perkins and his thoughts on those times in life when being good just isn't good enough. Stay with us.